Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Scott Callan with another episode of Between the Ears, and we are officially going to be changing our schedule. Uh, as some of you have probably already noticed, I've had a few people reach out. Yes, we are going to now go to one episode per week throughout the rest of the offseason. Uh, just a little bit of a time for us to dial it back a little bit, catch our breath. And there's really not a whole lot going on right now, so this is kind of the best time for us to do that. Uh, we'll pick things back up with our normal schedule, uh, doing the shows daily throughout the week or, or pretty close to it once the season comes back around. The schedule may be a little bit different because we do, as you know, tape a show that will release Sunday morning uh, after the game on Saturday. So we will probably take Mondays off. But once we get that set in stone, I promise you, that I will get that schedule out and show you on this episode, on one of these episodes, uh, instead of just randomly coming in in the middle of the week after two episodes of not having a show. So, anyways, uh, today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the recruiting aspect of West Virginia football and to closely follow it. Now, we've done this for, oh, geez, I'd probably say five, six somewhere maybe seven recruiting cycles i don't think it's quite been seven but uh we we do this recruiting hot board and we basically put all the top targets that west virginia is going after onto this one spot this one landing spot on our on our website at mountaineers now so you can go and track everything from top players names to watch uh targets that are visiting um decision dates all that good stuff so what we're going to do here today it's very simple i'm not throwing much opinions out there today but this is more of a tutorial for how to use and how to see the wvu football recruiting hot board so let's go ahead and take a look hopping over onto the site now all right so this is our homepage. if you have not visited it before there's the link at the top there at si.com slash college slash west virginia and as of right now, the hot board that I'm speaking of, as you can see, is smack dab in the center or at the top of your mobile device. And that will change, obviously, probably by the timing of this uh, episode recording. You know how we throw up multiple articles per day, uh, probably anywhere between the neighborhood of four and six, sometimes more. So with every new article that goes up, that gets replaced here at the top. So the WVU football recruiting hot board. Once this goes away from the home page or the top spot, it'll go over here to the latest news and it'll keep going on down and down and down until it is such old content, AKA in three days when we have enough content to fill this all up, then it'll eventually get kicked over to the recruiting page. And you, all you do is click recruiting and it'll be there either at the top or if you scroll, it'll be there or the best thing for you to do. Just bookmark the damn thing. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into how to use this thing, what it is, if you're new to it. I know we've got a lot of followers uh, that keep up with this pretty religiously. Um, so here's how it works. The hot board. Recruits that put out their top lists and have West Virginia in them, whether it's top five, top 15, top who, it doesn't matter, we will put them on the hot board. They are so-called uh, very interested in the Mountaineer program. Obviously, West Virginia is interested in that. And with kids nowadays, you know, like I said, there could be situations where you have multiple kids that have a top three or a top four. You can start to tell things are winding down in that particular recruits recruitment. Now, there's going to be some that have a top 12, a top 15, and you're like, eh, yeah, there's still a little bit ways to go before feeling good about a certain recruit. So instead of trying to balance back and forth which guys are closer and which are not, we're just going to put them all on this one spot in the hot board because there's been kids that have put out a top 15 or a top 12 or even a top 10 and the next thing you know, they're committing. And the kid that's down to two schools or three schools is taking four or five months to make his decision. 
So just because a kid's got two or three schools, they're two or three finalists, doesn't mean he's necessarily a close decision, just as much as a kid that's got a bevy of schools uh, that he's still considering, doesn't mean that he's months away from deciding either. So that's why we put him on this hot board. On the hot board, what you will find, and the, we, what we do is we list these guys position by position in alphabetical order. So it'll when there is a quarterback, which probably won't be for this class because they already got their guy for this class, Scotty Fox. Uh, it'll be it'll go quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, offensive line, defensive line, edge, linebacker, corner, safety, athlete, kicker, punter. So that's how it's going to go. Um, but with each of these kids' profile, if they're on the hot board, you will see listed their height, their weight, their hometown, their top schools, a link to their highlights and a link to their social channel on uh, Twitter or X. This gives you more information, more background about the kid. Obviously, we're not going to go deep into a, a scouting report on every single one of these guys because there's been years where there have been up to as many as 40 kids that end up on the hot board at once. That's not counting the entire cycle, but at 40 get kids at once, and you know they're only going to bring in 20 to 25. Once we get closer to signing day, we'll start honing in, giving you more in-depth scouting reports and so on and so forth. Um, or you can also go to our commits page, which I'll pull up here at the end, and we do give a pretty extensive uh, review on those guys there. So that's how the hot board works. When a player commits elsewhere, the player will be officially removed from the uh, from the hot board. I'll tweet out the update. So and so has been removed from the up uh, from the hot board. Uh, or if there's an update, say for instance, Bo Jackson is running back. Great name, right? Especially for running back. And this kid is legit. He is real. He's got, you know, what about a dozen teams? Uh, probably ten schools there. Say he cuts it down to five. We will also do an article but we will put out to an update that's saying Bo Jackson's cut his list down to five, you know, go to the hot board to see what his remaining five are. That would be if West Virginia has made the cut. If not, we'll just say he's off the hot board. Going down, as you can see, there's a ton of players here. I think there's close to 20 as of right now, but you go all the way down, keep on scrolling and you get to the names to watch. Now here, we're not going to go as in depth with the guys on the hot board because these are guys that are that have not put their 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 top schools out publicly or have not shared them with anybody, but they are guys that have mutual interest with WVU, and some of them have visits scheduled, as you can see here. Um, the two running backs, John Forster, Eddie Love Jr. They're both taking official visits to West Virginia. So that's why they're on this list. They are very uh, heavily liked within the building. They get the, Both of those guys like West Virginia. They're going to go on the names to watch. Now, what I will say, too, is be careful differentiating here between the hot board and the names to watch. Just because a guy is on the names to watch doesn't mean that he's a little bit lower on the list or maybe he's not as interested or near as, as close to committing to WVU as some of the guys on the hot board. These guys could be more interested. They could be closer to making their decision. This is just the guys that haven't publicly shared, again, their top schools. So John Forster hasn't shared his top schools, but he's got a, an official to West Virginia on June 21st that weekend. He may show up, really like it, and boom, commit the next day. So this is just, again, guys that have not released their, their top schools publicly. And by the way, this will be updated daily. So what you see here is probably a slightly uh, different from what you will see here in the coming hours once I go back through and update it. I did reach out and, and get some more uh, updates for from some recruits. So some guys you may see removed from this list. You may see some visits being scheduled. So uh, just keep an eye out for that. Moving on down to the predictions. And oh boy, do we have one here. So yes, my first prediction of this cycle is Gavin Crawford to West Virginia. 
he is scheduled to announce today. So be sure to check out his stuff. Um, and he is indeed on the hot board. If you go all the way up, I'll do a quick search here. There is Gavin Crawford. 6'3", 310 offensive lineman, um, has, is considering Duke, Florida, Maryland, Syracuse. Should say UCLA. He did come off a visit from there. That was his initial top five. UCLA is now in the mix. He just visited there. Um, has a visit scheduled to West Virginia next weekend. You can click on his highlights, go to his social channel, and all that good stuff. So back to the predictions. Gavin Crawford, again, is um, picking West Virginia. And how this will go, I'll put the date here. So the date here that you see is the date that I made the prediction. I'll put the player's position, his name. My prediction will go first. We'll have this little separator here. And then whatever school is ever here, obviously he hasn't announced yet. But say it is West Virginia, you'll see West Virginia show up here. And um, I will put in parentheses uh, the date that he committed. So with today being 522, you'll see – if it is West Virginia, West Virginia, 522. A reason why I throw everybody to this recruiting hot board. I've got a lot of people coming at me with questions with recruiting, my thoughts on certain players, where West Virginia stands with certain players. This is how you can read what I'm thinking. I don't like the two mile and horn. But I'm just saying, the numbers are pretty sexy. I mean, the 2022 class, I went 26 of 27. The only kid that I missed out on, and this is all time, by the way, uh, 2020 vision there in 2023. Uh, we went six and six last year. We did. We had some changes with our site, so we didn't have that ability to make as many predictions uh, during the hot portion of the, the summer. So... Uh, but we did end up perfect. So six for six there. The only kid, the only one that I've missed out on since we started predicting kids, Jaden Mangum, he was committed to West Virginia silently, told the coaches and everything, told me, yep, I'm committed to West Virginia. And then out of nowhere, lands at Michigan State. Don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah, he was definitely committed. Neil Brown did the let's go tweet. The coaches followed with all the gifts or the gifs, however you want to pronounce it. It was Jane Mangum to West Virginia. So I'm still docking myself for that one because I did put it in. I'm not so that there's my accountability right there. Just because I was told that and he ended up going somewhere else. I'm not going to, you know, keep that away as a miss. I'm, I'm going to leave that on there. So 52 of 53 all time on these recruiting predictions. And that's not to say that I'm going to miss every now and then. There have been a couple, I would say, you know, maybe a handful within those 53 where I had a pretty good feeling as to where the kid was going to go, but I I made my prediction ended up being right. And And what I will say too, this is not just for West Virginia, but it will only be for kids considering West Virginia. So for example, uh, linebacker Grant Bierman. I may get intel that he's going to commit to, I don't know, whatever random school you want to think of. I put in that prediction for that school. That doesn't mean uh, that I'm not going to, or I, I'm, I'm going to put in prediction for him, even if it's for West Virginia or not, because that is my prediction on a WV target. So it's only going to be the guys that populate this hot board and the names to watch. Um, but again, this will, this will be updated daily. You'll see got new guys come and go. Um, and it's a pretty fun thing to keep a track of, especially since we are in the really kind of the hot part of the recruiting season here coming up as official visits are going to start getting underway. And this is really when the bulk of the 2025 class gets put together. So please, Please, please check that out. Make sure you get your bookmark for that page. And I promise you we will not disappoint. Now, here, as promised at the end, 
of this episode, we have the class of 2025, the actual commits. Very similar to the hot board, but these are obviously just the guys that have made their verbal commitment to West Virginia. And on here, you'll just get a basic breakdown of their height, their weight, their hometown, their other schools, and then you will get a scouting report with their highlights. So you'll get that for every single one of these players. As you can see, what we are going to add eventually, uh, probably later on in the summer, is we're going to add some player grades. Don't know what that's going to look like yet. Haven't really decided. It could be A through F. It could be the old Madden type rating where you get from 0 to 99. One way or another, uh, we'll figure that out. Maybe it's, it's our own star system. Um, but we'll figure it out and make sure you you hit the, the bookmark uh, for that one as well. Very, very important information that you want to keep a hold of uh, close to you. So that's going to do it for today and this week's episode. I'm Skyla Callahan. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on our YouTube page. Have Mountaineers now. Give us a thumbs up and a follow at, on X at the same exact handle. Make sure you check back in with us here next week. We're going to take Monday off for the holiday but we'll be back here on tuesday unless some news happens over the next few days in which case we will come back on and do another episode but make sure uh you stick around check out the recruiting hot board check out the the commits and the scouting reports there in the meantime and we'll see you guys here on tuesday take care